Have you heard about the revolution? I'll be back. Mine trucks are driving around without drivers and offshore oil platforms are being operated remotely in onshore operation centers. And that's only the beginning of cool stuff that's happening in energy and mining. In 2015, Klaus Schwab declared that we're in a fourth industrial revolution. Really? A revolution? Let's take a look at what he described and then you can decide for yourself whether we're actually in a revolution. I'm Roland Plett and I'll dive into what this revolution is and how it works shortly. But first, in all transparency, I work for Cisco Systems, a company that bridges the sensors in the field to systems and analytics where the data is brought to life. This channel doesn't spend much time talking about products, but my Cisco colors do come through, and that's why. The fourth industrial revolution is characterized by a few common ideas. Let me take you through four of the most significant ones. First of all, connection. This revolution is characterized by connection that enables visibility. The visibility that operators have to the real-time status of machines and processes. The visibility that field workers have to asset inventories and operating procedures. And the visibility that analysts and engineers have to the performance of current industrial environments. Now, over the last 30 years, we've accomplished some of this using control systems. But now we're connecting everything, everything that can be instrumented, even if it's not needed for control purposes. The magnitude of connected things is easily 10 times what it was less than a decade ago. Second is data. If connection has grown by a multiplier of 10, like I just said, data has grown exponentially. Let's say, for example, that one sensor with a data reading every second generates 86,000 readings per day. That's so many seconds in a day. In a typical mine site, each vehicle can easily have 200 active sensors. If you multiply, say, 300 vehicles by 200 active sensors by 86,000 readings per sensor, we're over 5 billion readings per day. And that's just the beginning. I don't know what 5 billion readings actually looks like. And if you add all the other data in a mine, the magnitude of data starts to become unthinkable. All right. Third is collaboration. It's not enough to connect things and then collect the data. There's now potential for meaningful collaboration between humans, machines, and software to simplify and strengthen decision making. Video picture messages are a way of life today. Logging into machines from anywhere to troubleshoot an anomaly is commonplace. Accessing applications from a mobile device is expected. Whether it's scheduling systems, asset management systems, safety systems, or ERP systems, they're all available on your mobile platform. Virtual interaction between humans, machines, and software multiplies the effectiveness of each item individually. And that's collaboration. Finally, let's consider decentralization. This collaborative environment that I just described makes it possible for decisions to be made locally using data and connection out at the edge. The most scalable system in our digital world today is the internet. The stability and its success is due to its decentralized decision making. That is how it can scale almost infinitely. As the number of connected entities grows in your environment, the amount of data also escalates. And the methodology, the only methodology that can scale is a decentralized one. And all new systems are starting to move in that direction. That's a picture of Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution. What do you think? Is it really a revolution? To make this more practical, it's helpful to look at a specific use case or specific use cases that bring these ideas to life. At Cisco, I've organized these use cases into themes for energy and mining. These themes are very much reflected in this YouTube channel. The specific themes can be referenced on cisco.com at the following links. For mining, it's cs.co slash mining portfolio. And for energy, it's cs.co 
slash oil and gas portfolio. Here's a sneak peek of the oil and gas themes, just for your reference. They're plant and field operations, which is machine communications, industrial hybrid work, which is the people communications, safety and security, which includes cybersecurity and HSE, and then finally the energy transition, which explores new energy initiatives that oil and gas companies are expanding into. If you're familiar with the industry, you probably scanned the use cases and many of them are familiar to you. I invite you to explore them even more in the links I provided. This channel is also a good place to explore these use cases in both energy and in mining. Take care.